Well, as, as you can see here, this is my this is my default normal normal screen when when I'm visiting Webtoon. This is a screen I, I find. This is a screen every, every reader or subscriber should find. But to go into your control panel, to go into your dashboard, the things that you can upload, edit, and delete, add stuff, is through this button. This button dashboard, it, it's right next to the name, right next to the name of your webtoon. So I'm going to click dashboard. Well, when you hit this board, you'll find here add an episode. Add an episode. Well, you'll be having four steps to upload and add your episode to Webtoon. The first thing is adding your thumbnail, adding uh, by selecting an image. Or uploading it. It should be 160, 151 by and 500, 500 kilobytes. I'm going to use a one I read already. Right here. Oh, we're going to add any names, any name as um, for the episode, maybe testing. As for this part, Webtoon did have added a, 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 a new fun stuff that, uh, that it, it can cut down and adjust and crop your... Uh, your images, your Webtoon images, if it's done correctly with a scale of two, 800 uh, by uh, 1280 pixels. 1280 pixels. So I'm going to grab an info card I did for my Webtoon. So I'm just doing this for just. Just saying, file file format is invalid, but it's it's already showing. It's already supported here. For this, you can you can add many images as long as it's beneath twenty megabytes. Twenty megabytes. Maybe it can be like twenty images, fifty images, one hundred images. It differs from one to another depending on the resolution you're uploading your file into. After that, you add the creator notes if you do want to communicate or say anything to your readers, to your fans, uh, or anything regarding this episode, you should add it just right here. After that, you check the preview button here. This is the preview button. This is how the episode will look like on Webtoon when you upload it. So we did cover the uploading port.